Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is installing and configuring Rapid Scan. So Rapid Scan is a multi-tool uh, multi web vulnerability scanner. We're going to be doing this in my Kali Linux box. And I want to leave the link in the description below to actually install it, get it configured, and do a scan. And I have done scans with this before, depending on how powerful your machine is and how large the website is that you're trying to do the vulnerability scan for. That depends on the test. I, I've done some tests. I want to show you some screenshots, so stay till the end, and I'll show you the report. And obviously, I want to, I'm not going to reveal the company I was working with, but the, the, the scan I did it on, but I'll show you a few things. So before we actually install this, I want to show you this website here. I was doing some Google searches on some, like 15 vulnerable sites to legally practice your hands, you know, your hacking skills. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to run it against hackthissite.org. You can just go through this, you know, one, two, three, you know, different different sites, hack, the, hack site, hack this site. So you can do different, um, like this one is hack, hack site that I guess is a UK, but you know, you get the point. So there's different kinds of websites that you can get your hands on with. And also like a try to hack, you know, there's, there's quite a few out there. Golden Hub, there's a whole bunch of cool, cool ones out there, but in this video, what we're going to be, our target is going to be hack this site. So I want to, I want to be doing it with that. So before we get started, let's go ahead and get the download. I want to copy this and I want to go ahead and open up terminal. Okay. Let's go ahead and whoop, make this a little bigger. Sometimes in a virtual machine, it doesn't work as, uh, as, as good. So I am running this in VirtualBox. So first things first, let's see, obviously we can get out to the internet. That's the, that's the number one key. So you can actually just do a ping to google.com. We can get to the internet and you can do an IP route. So you can see that we're on a VirtualBox and we're using the VirtualBox NIC. We have a few NICs on here. If we do an if config, we have a few network adapters and so I have some host only just for, for some other stuff that I do, but we can get on the internet. This is our NATed network for virtual boxes, the default 10.0.2.15. So let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do before we do anything, I want to go ahead and open up um, uh, file manager. I want to go into desktop and this is everything. So I want to go ahead and create a new folder for Rapid scan dash 2020. Okay, so I want to go ahead and X out of here. I want to go ahead and CD to that. Uh, CD into rapids. Now we, there's nothing in here. Perfect. So now we can do git dash clone and then we can paste the URL that we copied. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste that and that'll go on its merry way. All right now we can do an ls now we see the rapid scan here so now we can just go ahead and just cd into it and now we can do an ls we see a few little pieces of information in here so we can see a screenshot we can uh, i don't want to do that i want to do let's do dot backslash okay and then rapid and this is going to be the application that we're going to be running let me go ahead and maybe zoom out a little bit so we can see a little more real estate. So this is the tool, the multiple tool web vulnerability scanner. So this is some information about it. So the way we run it is we can run dot backslash uh, rapid, rapid scan dot py, which is a Python script. So we can just copy this section and we can paste it. Okay, obviously we're not gonna run it again against example.com. We're gonna go ahead and target, in this case, hackthissite.org. Okay, let's just copy this. 
And let's go ahead and minimize this and go ahead and paste. Okay, so now this will go and check the available security tools. Sometimes if they're not all installed, you're gonna have to install them. As you see here, this one's not available, this one's not available, and it's gonna go down a list. And by default, it runs 80 different scans. You see here, 80 different tools. So now it's gonna go on its merry way to do its process. So this can take some time. And I'm gonna, while this is going, this is pretty much how you use the tool. And once the application is done, right? So I wanna open up this scan that I ran. Okay, this is, a, this is a scan that is complete. Let's go ahead and zoom this in a little bit. And as you can see, it's from me, InfoSec Pat. This is on a different Cali box, my real production box. Um, yeah, so see, it, this one took about 14 hours to complete. And then you can go ahead and by default, rs-vulnerability-report is available under the rapid scan uh, directory. So you can open up that, that, uh, that file. So this is gonna go down its, down its um, merry way all the way until it's complete. And then you're gonna get that screen. I don't know how long yours is gonna take, but my, that scan I ran, I think yesterday or two days ago, and it took about 14 hours. So we'll minimize this for now and we'll go onto the desktop into rapid scan. This is where my rapid scan is, rapid scan. So there's gonna be a file in here and I had a few people ask me how to actually look at the, the file itself instead of just you know exporting it. But we don't have a file here yet because it's not done. Once the process is done, you're gonna see this file, which I wanna bring that machine up, see, because it's creating a whole bunch of temporary files now. Um, you're gonna see rs-vulnerability-report in that directory, in this folder. So once this is complete, you're gonna go ahead and see that and you can cat it, you can open it up with uh, leaf, um, you can open it up with different kinds of uh, word processing applications. What am I doing? So let's go back here. It's gonna go on, now it's doing Nikto. So it checks the internal IP leaks, see if there's any leaks, etc. So that's pretty much how you install Rapid scan. It's a pretty cool little tool. It's good to have in your arsenal. Sometimes there is, you know, right here, like vulnerability threat level high. So RDP server detected over UDP. Um, you know, attackers might launch remote exploits to either crash the service or tools that can end crack to try to brute force the passwords that reside on the target. So, you know, now it's going down to 17. So it's going to be doing subdomain. So, et cetera. It's going to go down 80 different tools. And once it's done, it's going to be done, and then you can get that file. So that pretty much sums up this video. I really enjoy your time. Thank you so much for checking me out. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe if you want to see any other videos and learn about different tactics. Let me know, and if I'm able to help, I'm more than happy to. Have a good day, and again, today's Memorial Day, Monday. Hopefully everyone had a beautiful day, and you know, salute to the, the, you know, the people out there that serve in our country. I'm in the U.S. So thanks again. Take care, guys.